Hello and welcome to another Google Classroom video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to have a look at how to share useful resources and materials with your students. If you don't have a Google Classroom yet, check out my previous episodes where we talk in detail about how to create and populate your Google Classroom. If you already have a Google Classroom with students, let's delve into the content of the tutorial. From your Google Classroom home screen, click on Classwork. Click on Create. To share resources and materials with your students, we're going to use Material button. You might be wondering, what is the difference between Material and other options? And the main difference is that when you post material onto your Google Classroom, students don't have to turn anything in. It's just a reference material for them to look at, for them to consult while they are completing other work. When we start and create the material, there are our usual fields um, as title and description, but there's no due date, there's no grade, because students will not be turning anything in, and therefore there won't be anything for you to grade as a teacher. So why don't we try and create a material and then see what it looks like from, from students end. As usual, we're gonna start with a title. And in my case, I would like to share some essay prompts with my students that I would like them to use while writing an essay. So the title of my material is going to be Essay Prompts. Description is optional, but I normally explain to the students what are they supposed to do with this material. In this case, I will instruct them to use this writing prompts to enhance their essay. We're going to skip topic for now and move on to the selection of the file type. As usual, you can choose between four different types. You can select and attach a file from your computer, attach a file from your Google Drive, a YouTube video, or a link from the internet. In my case, I have my writing prompts on my Google Drive, so I'm going to click on the Google Drive, select it from there. These are materials for my class. I'm gonna select the material and click Add. Once my material has been uploaded, I can select which classes will see this material. You can assign it to multiple classes. In my case, this is just going to be my first Google Classroom. You can select students to whom this material will be assigned. I have two students and this material is going to be assigned to both of them. Once everything is set up, we can select either to post it now, uh, to schedule it and uh, it'll be posted later on, or save it as a draft. In my case, I will post it right away. Once posted, you will see the material in your classwork. Uh, it will also appear in your stream. Let's go ahead and see what the material looks like from a student's point of view. I'll be using Google Classroom uh, app on this iPad, so the uh, user interface can look a little bit different if your students are using um, Google Classroom in their browser or they're using it uh, on the mobile device. As a student, I can see that um, a new material has been posted by my teacher. I can see it in my stream. I can also go to my classwork and see it there. And you can notice that unlike uh, the assignment here and the question here, there's no due date to the, uh, to the material. So once I click on the material, uh, the only thing I can do really is just uh, click on the material on the attached file, which bring me to the essay prompts, which I can use to enhance my um, essay. But there's nothing else I can do really. Even class comments have been disabled and I won't be able to post anything. And if I go back to my classwork and click on the task list, which looks like a student um, in, a, in a square, uh, you will notice that I won't see material here because it doesn't have a due date and I don't have to turn it in. The only two things I have here is the assignment uh, and a question. But the material won't be here because I don't have to do anything. I don't have to turn it in. I don't have to submit my work. And that's it. That's how easy it is to share materials and resources via the Google Classroom. In our next video tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to keep your Google Classroom neat and organized. Stay tuned, don't miss it out, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.